Okay, so moving on to question six. What is the mass of a mole of sucrose? And they also give us the uh, chemical formula for sucrose. So I'm going to write that down as well. So sucrose is C12, H22, O11. So when they ask for the mass of a mole of sucrose, this is the same thing as its molar mass. So I need to find the molar mass of sucrose. And this is the same thing as 12 times the molar mass of carbon. Oops. Since there are 12 carbon atoms in sucrose, I'm going to add 22 times the molar mass of hydrogen. And lastly, I'm going to do 11 times the molar mass of oxygen. So the molar masses of individual atoms are found on the periodic table. So if I were to look it up on the periodic table, I get an atomic mass of carbon to be 12.01 grams per mole. Atomic weight of hydrogen is 1.01 grams per mole. And lastly, the atomic weight of oxygen is 15.99 grams per mole. Okay, so now if I add up all my values, I end up getting a molar mass of sucrose equal to 342.34 grams per mole. Okay, so let's see what our junior tutor said. The main idea of getting the molar mass of any compound is to sum up the molar mass of the atoms present in the compound. Sucrose has 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygen atoms. The molar mass of atoms can be found in the periodic table of elements. The molar mass of the co corresponding elements of sucrose will be, and then they have for carbon, 144, hydrogen, 22, and oxygen, 176. And then they added up all those values together to get a final molar mass for sucrose to be 342.34 grams per mole. So I can say this solution is correct.